Yeah. Well, I remember they they I remember they contacted me um during their Kickstarter for the first game. I mean, I there was this was almost seven years ago. And I just get this email that said, Hey, we're doing a Kickstarter. Um, and within 24 hours, we're at 300 percent of our goal, and we're realizing we uh can do things we weren't anticipating being able to do. So would you be interested in talking to us about the score? And can we talk quickly because maybe we can capitalize on uh, forging a partnership before the Kickstarter is over and maybe mm. like try to throw some music related prizes in here. And, and we ended up doing that thing. It, it, we did things like, <clears throat> you know, uh, we'll, we're going to hire an orchestra and, and we'll get, you know, for like a hundred dollars, something that I thought was way too much money. Um, uh, we'll get the, the musicians in the orchestra to sign one of their parts and then you can have like a part from the session for, from one of the stands. So I literally, I was like, no one's gonna care about that. Well, it turned out like like hundreds of people, 20,000 backers. Um, wow. And uh, I was shot, none of it made any sense to me, but I was like, that's fantastic. Um, and so they made a deal with me where they basically said, you know, we're gonna throw in music related perks and, and those can specifically, exclusively finance the score, like as a subset mm -hmm. of the budget. The long and short of it, the thing that impressed me or that excited me about it was that it was basically like a Viking mythology um, um, esque Battlestar Galactica. Uh, in insofar as it's a story about a ragtag group of people surviving the apocalypse, basically. It was not about saving the world. It was about just trying to endure with some grace uh, and inevitable end to the world, which was really compelling to me. That, that's why I, I thought of Battlestar Galactica, because I thought this is not a, this is a survival story. It's not a heroic story. Um, and it's a father-daughter story kind of nested within that, but also the kind of Norse uh, twist was, it's not directly Norse, but it's, mm -hmm. it's kind of inspired by that, that vibe and the kind of Ragnarok idea. But then also, on top of that, the thing that is always most obvious is the game has this hand-drawn Ivan Earl style, like 60s Disney look mm -hmm. that is just mind-blowingly beautiful. I mean, the game just looks like no other games. And so, yeah, it was like took one glimpse and said, you know, I mean, what do I, what do I, what do I, where do I start? This is amazing. It, it is visually stunning, really beautiful. 